Microsoft, what are you guys doing? Don't shoot yourself in the foot. So let me get this straight. You're selling off NVIDIA, uh, uh, Activision uh, Blizzard, no, Act Activision Blizzard, our uh, cloud gaming uh, rights to Ubisoft. While the UK is in, um, is almost, is almost close to com completing their investigation. And now you got the CMA now, they're coming back now with another investigation. Microsoft, what are you guys doing? Let's, what's up people? Another beautiful day. Yep. Yeah. Hope your five senses work, health and strength is good. Or excellent. What? Listen to this. You're not even you're not even gonna believe this. Listen to this. <laughs> Listen to this. The saga continues. Microsoft plans to sell Activision Blizzard cloud gaming rights to Ubisoft for 15 years. And the investigation is not over. Listen to this. It says Microsoft has announced a reconstruction, reconstructing of its plans, acquisition of Activision Blizzard, that it believes will allow the deal to be approved by the UK Competition and Market Authority. The company has revealed that if the 69 billion deal goes through, Microsoft will sell off the cloud gaming rights for all current and future Activision Blizzard PC games for 15 years to another publisher, Ubisoft. Okay, then what about Game Pass? Anyway, let me keep going. It says here, in a blog post, Microsoft President Brad Smith stated, under the, reconstruction, under the reconstructed transaction, Microsoft will not be in a position either to release Activision Blizzard games exclusively on its own cloud streaming service, Xbox, Xbox Cloud Gaming, or to excessively control the licensing terms of Activision Blizzard games for rival service. Microsoft, what are you doing? Says here, uh, the agreement provides Ubisoft with a unique opportunity to commercialize the distribution of games via cloud streaming. The agreement will enable Ubisoft to innovate and encourage different business model in the licensing and pricing, pricing of these games on cloud streaming service worldwide. Hmm. Says here, if I can turn this off, get this out of here. Good, it's, it's blocked. Okay, let me keep going. Whoops. Says here, um, <clears throat> Ubisoft will make a one-time payment to Microsoft for Activision Blizzard cloud gaming rights, along with a market-based wholesale pricing mechanism, including an option that support pricing based on usage. Ubis Ubisoft can also offer I Activision Blizzard PC games the cloud gaming service that don't use Windows based operating service, Linux, Apple. Anyway, it says the UK CMA regulation agency blocked Microsoft purchase of Activision Blizzard in April, stating that the deal would, would damage competition in the cloud gaming market. Today, the CMA announced that it will now consider this deal under a new phase one investigation. The deadline for a decision based on the new investigation is October the 18th. Hmm. However, the CMA added that this new Microsoft deal proposal is not a guarantee that it will approve the company purchase of Activision Blizzard. Hmm. Keep going here. This is not a green light. We will carefully and objectively assess the detail of the reconstructed deal and its impact on competition, including in light of third-party uh, comments, our goal has not changed. Any future decision on this new deal will ensure that the growing cloud gaming market continues to benefit from open and effective com uh, competition driving innovation and choice. Hmm. It says here, the CMA also revealed it had rejected Microsoft's submission that the final order to block it originally proposed the deal should not be enforced. It says here, Microsoft argues that for various reasons that there had been a material change of circumstance since the orig original decision. After carefully consider co consideration, this was rejected by the independent inquiry group. That's like, that's like likely the reason why Microsoft is making this new proposal. Ubisoft has posted its own 
announcement stating, with a single subscription to Ubisoft Plus, multi-access players will soon be able to play, play their favorite Ubisoft and Activision Blizzard games across multiple platforms, including PC, Xbox console, and Amazon Luna. On the PlayStation platform through Ubisoft Plus Classics, the agreement will offer players even greater access to a larger library of beloved and classic titles, as well as the newest release, all through cloud streaming. And then it says here, uh, so now everyone has to wait for another couple of months while the, C while the UK CMA makes a final decision on this revised proposal. Oh boy. Mm. The saga continues. I got four comments. You me see if I can get them. Four comments. Uh oh. Do I have any comments? I think I just seen four. Oops. Okay, that's it. You are Microsoft already gave a okay. You already gave our ten year contracts. To who? And we're E E Ubitus Boosteroid and Nintendo. You gave our ten year and I think I said in, in NVIDIA, you gave our 10 year contracts. But now, the UK has a decision to make. And now, you're going to sell off. Let me get this straight if, I, if, I'm, if, I'm, if, if I'm wrong here. You're going to sell off. Let's see if I can get this. You're going to sell off. You're going you're, you're, you're to sell Activision Blizzard cloud gaming rights to Ubisoft. For 15 years? Okay, then what about Game Pass? It's like Microsoft is shooting themselves in the foot. It's like you go one step at a time. You got one more decision to go through. You already, be you already beat the, uh, you already beat the FTC in court. You got one more, dis you got one more um, decision decision to make one, 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 one more decision to go through and that's the UK and common sense common sense should have told Microsoft like look the heads at Microsoft like look let's just wait for the UK um, decision and then after they make their decision now we can sell off uh, Activision Blizzard cloud gaming rights right uh, for 15 years, we can do what we want. So once that final decision to go uh, uh, goes through, but now the CMA now is doubling back now to come up with a new investigation, and according to them, their goal is not change. Um, uh, Judge uh, Jacqueline Scott Corley, she's not going to change our decision. The Ninth District Court of Appeal is not going to change your decision on the FTC. That decision is done. Um, like I told people this, this was going to be an endurance game. And I told you guys, this might end up in the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court might make a decision. It, it might end up in the Supreme Court. Or it might end up some um, in the court. In the, in the highest court in the UK. All Microsoft had to do was just wait one, one, one more, one more decision. And once that decision is done, October the 18th, today is what? August 22nd. All they had to do was just wait. No, ju just wait. Because they are, they are already giving out 10 year contracts. You got 41, 41 countries supporting you behind this. And of course, the shareholders and the employees. So all they got to do now is just wait. You're coming up now with a new plan now, in the middle of an of an investigation that's not done, and now you're giving the CMA now an opportunity now to get back at you. Not good. It's not, that 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 it doesn't look. It, it's not looking. 
Microsoft was had a um, had a momentum going going so far, and all they had to do was just wait. The CMA now. Um, It's trying to it's trying to get back at Microsoft again. Hmm. No, um, the European Commission already sides with Microsoft, so they might have a they might have a say on the matter. So, to me, all all Microsoft had to do was just be patient, just be patient. You know, October the eighteenth. After October the eighteenth, now make your decision. And now your Game Pass subscribers is like what? I mean, because look, if, if you look at this, if you look at the article there, the Game Pass users are going to be like, wait a minute, you're going to give, you're going to give your, um, listen to this, under the reconstructed transaction, Microsoft will not be in a position to either to release Activision Blizzard game exclusives on its own cloud streaming service, Xbox Cloud Gaming. That makes no sense. You don't give up your power. You just spent, you just spent sixty, what sixty eight point seven billion, and now you're gonna give your power to Ubisoft for fifteen years. <sighs> anyway, it says uh, <laughs> or <laughs> it says Xbox Cloud Gaming or exclusively controls control the licensing terms of Activision Blizzard game for rival service. You had the power to, to decide, okay, we listen, it's, it's, it's like this. You got all the rights, right? You got Game Pass to deal with, that's one. You just bought Activision Blizzard. You have the power now to to, to bring to bring uh, Activision Blizzard games to Linux, to uh, the Linux gaming community, to Apple, and to and to Ubisoft under your own terms. But according to this guy, it says under the under the reconstructed transaction, Microsoft will not be in a position either to release Activision Blizzard games exclusively on its own cloud streaming service, Xbox Cloud Gaming. Your your Game Pass subscribers are gonna look at you like, what? What are you doing? And then it says, or to exclusively Control light control the licensing terms of Activision Blizzard games for rival service. If that's the case, then what you should have never built Game Pass. That's what I'm getting from all this. They should have never built Game Pass. Then you're saying, then you're saying, then then it, then the, then the statement goes on to say like this: the agreement provides Ubisoft with a unique opportunity. To commercialize distri the distribution of games via cloud streaming, the agreement will enable Ubisoft to innovate and encourage different business models in the licensing pricing pricing of these games on cloud streaming service. Remember, I told everybody. I said, "Look, everybody, anybody can sign up for that ten-year contract because Microsoft had the power to do so." And you're selling off your um, your control over Activision Blizzard games for 15 years versus giving Ubisoft a 10-year contract. That means you still that means you still got. If if you give Ubisoft a 10-year contract, it means that you're still in. You still have full control of the thing. But now you're gonna give. But now you're selling off. You're, you're giving Ubisoft 15, 15, uh, 15 years. Look, man, fifteen years is fifty. Look, fifteen years is long, man. You know, fifteen years don't go light speed, man. It takes time to complete fifteen years. Um, I don't know what Brad Smith is thinking. Um, or Matt. Maybe Phil Spencer need to step in and stop this. Like, nah, we can't do this. We're not gonna get Phil Spencer need to step in and be like, look, we're not gonna give up our give up our power. Um, we got Game Pass to deal with. We got a user base. We can't we can't um we can't uh <laughs> what's that? Give up uh give Ubisoft fifteen 
We can't, we can't give Ubisoft 15 years of control of Activision Blizzard games. We got a Game Pass user base to deal with. And that's how they need to approach this. And the other thing, too, they need to be patient and wait on the UK. Just saying. Microsoft is shooting themselves in the foot. Because based on this statement here, man, what are you doing talking about you're giving up, uh, it says under the, the, under the reconstructed transaction, Microsoft will not be in a position either to release Activision Blizzard games exclusively on its own cloud streaming service, Xbox Cloud Gaming. Or to exclusively control the licensing terms of Activision Blizzard games for rival service. Microsoft is shooting themselves in the foot right now. All they had to do was just wait till October the 18th. And they should have looked at Ubisoft like, look, we're not gonna we're not gonna give you 15 years of control of uh, Activision Blizzard games when we just paid 68.7 billion. Mm mm. Nah. If you, if if you want to get Activision Blizzard games, you got to sign up for that 10 year contract. That's how this is gonna go, and that's how they should have approached this. It says here the agreement provides Ubisoft with unique opportunity to commercialize the distribution of games via cloud streaming service. That's Microsoft's responsibility. The agreement will enable Ubisoft to innovate and encourage different business model in the licensing and pricing of these games on cloud streaming service worldwide. Microsoft, don't shoot yourself in the foot. Anyway, that's my thoughts and opinion on the whole thing. Let me know your thoughts and opinion on this. Hope you enjoyed the video. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Bored, dark side. Go.